Welcome to the Rose Rocket platform. My name is Aaron, and I've worked in the finance and payments industry for the better part of 10 years. And in this video, I'll show you how to create and manage your invoices in Rose Rocket. In this video, we'll cover how to create invoices, how to combine multiple orders onto one invoice, and how to export your invoices to your accounting system. Let's get you paid. First, let's create a basic invoice from a single order. So in Rose Rocket, when you're creating an invoice from an order, you can go ahead and create an invoice as soon as there is at least a customer and a quote added to your order. One way you can do this is by clicking into the order and then bringing up the Create Invoice widget on this panel. Alternatively, if you're creating a lot of invoices at the same time, navigate over to your Invoice Items board. And from here, you can, you can click an order and then go ahead and create an invoice. First things first, we'll review the line items and make sure that the amount that we're going to charge our customer is accurate. Once we're comfortable with that, we can go ahead and click Save. Now let's go ahead and preview the invoice. In this case, we're sending the invoice to our customer before we complete the load for them, and so we don't have a proof of pickup or a proof of delivery. However, the PO number and load tender number that we agreed upon with our customer are carried onto this invoice and prominently displayed so that our customer can review this invoice easily and go ahead and submit payment. Once we're comfortable with the way that the invoice looks, we can go ahead and click Share to send it to our customer. And so, a tip here, you can also create invoices without associated orders. In order to create an invoice without an order, navigate to your Invoices board, and then go ahead and create an invoice from the button above. Here, let's create an invoice for our customer Fiesta Farms. Let's say that we're storing some equipment for them at our location. And so we're gonna add a line item here that's storage for equipment. And let's say that we're storing the equipment for 50 days and charging $20 per day. We can go ahead and save that and even add some notes to our invoice. Uh, so we'll add a charge for equipment storage. Click off to save that. And then you can see here our invoice includes that note and also the line item for the equipment storage. You can then go ahead and share that invoice with your customer. Next, let's create an invoice for multiple orders. So now let's cover the case where we're creating an invoice for one of our customers where we do frequent and regular work. Let's say in this case, CH Robinson has requested that we create one invoice for them for all the work that we've completed in one week. The way that we can do this is by first navigating to our invoice items board. And here we're gonna apply a filter. So we can filter by customer and look for cases where our customer is CH Robinson. And now we can see all of the orders that we've delivered for CH Robinson in the last week. We can go ahead and select these orders and click, click on create invoice. First things first, let's review the line items on this invoice and confirm that they're the right amount. Once we're comfortable with what we're charging, we can go ahead and click save. And now when we go to send this invoice to CH Robinson, you can see that the invoice and the proof of deliveries are included for the email that we're gonna to send to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this email off so you can see what that looks like. Perfect. And so I'll navigate over to my inbox now. And you can see that we've received this email. And attached, we have the invoice each order has its own section called out so that the customer who's reviewing the invoice can see the PO number and reference number and make sure that everything is correct and matches their system. And also in the, in the email, you can see that the proof of delivery for each order is attached and has a name of the file to tell the receiver of the email which order the proof of delivery is for. And now to wrap things up, Let's export your invoices to your accounting system. So now that we've created our invoices, let's go ahead and get these exported to our accounting system. The first thing we'll need to do is navigate to our invoices board. 
and then go ahead and click on the three dots and click on connect QuickBooks online account. In the future, we'll open this up to other accounting softwares. Next thing you'll have to do is give permission for Rose Rocket to access your invoices and customers so you can keep these in sync. Go ahead and click on continue and then connect to the accounting option. Next, we'll select QuickBooks Online. And when you click on the green button, you'll be brought to the Intuit page where you can provide your credentials. Once you go ahead and get signed in, you'll be connected to Rose Rocket and all set up. So from there, let's pop back over to our invoices board. We'll select Invoice 264 and get this exported to our accounting system. As you can see here, the customer for this invoice is CH Robinson. And so when we export this to QuickBooks Online, we want to make sure it's also for CH Robinson so everything is kept in sync between Rose Rocket and our books. Using the search bar, we can put in CH, and you can see here we pulled in CH Robinson from QuickBooks Online. Go ahead and select the customer and then click on Export, and that invoice will be pushed over to QuickBooks for your tracking. And so that's how you get paid. To recap, we covered how to create a basic invoice, how to combine multiple orders onto one invoice, and how to export those invoices to your accounting system. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.